Hello and welcome, I'm Saradan, and in this guide we'll be going over how to obtain the hand of Nelgani... Nelgani... Nelgani Mat. The, the gold hand. Y you know what I mean. You didn't come here to listen to some guy struggle with pronunciation. There's plenty of that to come, so let's get straight into it. But before we do get into this video, note that depending on the assaults that are active, you may not necessarily be able to get this mount in a single day, and you will need three friends to help you out during a small section. So with that being said, to be able to get the hand of Nogani Mat, you're going to need to collect five rare quality rings or bands. And once you have all of these rings, you will then need to locate the hand and place one on each of its fingers. All of this is located within the moor. So let's get these rings and we'll start with two rings which are hindered or only available when select assaults are active. The first ring here is only available to be obtained when the Necrolord assault is up in the moor. This is the stone ring. To get this ring you're going to want to piece together all of the quarters of an ancient ring, but you're first going to need to get these. So whilst the Necron Order Salt is up, you're going to want to complete the quest putting a plan together, which comes after helping the Kyrian outside of the southern gate of Perdition Hold. Once this is done, you will need to loot this quarter from the Morsorn Cache, located up here with the use of grapple hooks, and inside, as I said, your first quarter. The second quarter is simply just picked up off of the floor around Perdition Hold. Though I got mine here, yours may be located elsewhere, so make sure you get your magnifying glass out. Worth noting that these rings are not up all the time, in fact they're only actually here for a one or two minutes. After then they will despawn and move on to a different location. The third will be a quest reward from the quest Clearing the Walls. To get this quest you must loot a defence map from a Morsorn cache, which are typically on the walls around Perdition Hold. You will need to use the grapple hooks to access these. The quest is a nice and easy one, you are just required to destroy 6 dead soul pylons. But before trying to look for this defence map, make sure that you have completed putting a plan together as mentioned earlier. There is also a chance that you may not get this map from any of the chests, but luckily it can be shared if you know someone who did get this quest. And now we have 3, we can access the final quarter. Within your chat you shall see, it's mine! Stay away, filthy Moorwalker. From that, I think we know where the last is. The Moor Mad Construct spawns around several points around Perdition Hold, but he has likely fled the scene, so keep an eye out for him running wild. You can even use a macro to help you target him if you're struggling. If you are unable to locate him, you may have to wait for another respawn, which could be between anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes makes you wonder how such a ghoulish, decrepit creature come across such a ring. I, wait a minute, is it me or does this sound very familiar? <laughs> okay. To bind these ancient quarters you are going to need the help of a soul steel forge and they are located all across the moor. Does not matter which one you use, any will do. And now we've got our first ring. This next ring will be hindered when either the Venfear or Nightfear assault is up. This is mainly because they cover an area where we want to spawn a rare, meaning we can't summon our rare basically. This is the Signet Ring and this drops from Exos, Herald of Domination. And we need to summon this guy to take him down. And to summon him, we're going to need to obtain three domination actions, which are dropped from three rares across the moor. This rare also requires you to have friends, so let's hope you've been nice to people. <laughs> Otherwise, you can you can see groups on Group Finder. The first etching is obtained from summoning Afeli Oh god. Afolias, Herald of the Loss. This rare cannot be summoned if the Night Fae Assault is up. And to summon these rares, you and your friends need to stand on each of these corners and use your extra action button. And all of these rares are pretty simple to kill. The second etching is dropped from Talaporas, <laughs> Herald of Pain. This cannot be obtained if the Venfear Assault is up. This rare is located to the very north of the moor. 
And the last etching is dropped from Ekphoras, Herald of Grief. This rare does not seem to be affected by any Covenant Assault, so you should be fine to get this one whenever you like. When you have gotten all three, right click one of them to combine them into the Domination's Calling. This is used to summon our rare who has our ring. Exos is located in the Altar of Domination, just past Perdition Hold. Through this entrance, and clean up the area a bit, you shall see you can use your Domination's Calling to spawn a portal in the middle of the room. And walking through this portal, you shall see Exos directly in front of you. And upon killing him, you've obtained your second ring. The third ring is locked behind some chains and resides within the Domination Sealed Chest. This is the Silver Ring. To unlock this chest you're going to need four Seal Breaker Keys. The first key that is obtained is actually dropped from the mobs around Desmeteron, primarily the Moldraxi Defectors. The drop chance of the key is quite low, but you can get lucky. But make sure you loot every mob you kill, and if you have mail from Mr. Postmaster, be sure to check that. You only get one from these mobs. The second key is located within this room. At the far end, next to Kajoran, defeat this NPC, look up at the wall to find his car keys. The third key is dropped from Yulalva. This is a heavy hitter rare, so make sure that you get a group for this, unless you're just super OP of course. Apparently the keeper of this beast had quite a hard time during his last feed. And the fourth key is located within a Howgard supply cache. These are not marked on your minimap, but are located randomly around Desmeteron. I will include some coordinates of some known locations within the description of this video to help you out. Once you have all four keys, you're ready to unlock the Domination Sealed Chest, which is located just the side of this staircase within this cage. Keep unlocking all of the locks until you get your ring. As a side note, if you use a key on this cage, this will be a permanent effect. You will keep your progress even if you come back the next day. You don't want to be farming these mobs for 8 hours to find that you already used a key on the cage yesterday. Trust me, you'd have to be a fool. <laughs> The fourth ring is my favourite one, because it takes less than a minute to get. This is the Gold Band. Head over to Calcius, just over here, and look up. You can see this grapple point on the edge of a crystal. Okay, so now you're up here. Mount up. You're going to want to find your way straight to the top of this spike. One step back, two steps forward here. To get best angle, you will need to move downwards till you can get back up on this level. Or I suppose you could use a means of teleportation. But, yeah. Follow this spike straight up until you find here, hooked around this cage spike, your gold band. The fifth and final ring, the rune band, is located within the Shadow Rift realm. Whilst within this realm, you will need to travel to and kill Torgalun. To enter the rift, you will first need to get your hands on a repaired rift key. These can be purchased from Archivist Rosur when you have tier 4 rep. Otherwise, they can be located within invasive mushrooms, nests of strange materials, or more sawn caches around Corfia. Nice and easy to get hold of. With this key, you will be able to interact with a rift portal that are scattered around Corfia. So, now we've found one. Let's begin. Click in this portal, you'll be hidden from everyone on the main realm, and you'll have 15 minutes to play around within this. You also have 15 minutes to travel all the way up to Torgalun, who is located to the very north of the moor. Do not panic, you will have plenty of time to spare. Just mount up, dodge NPCs, and you can even stop to loot rift caches if you so wanted. And when you have made it all the way up here to the north, you shall see your NPC you need to kill. Do note, this is a heavy hitter. So if you have a pet, make sure you top them up and keep your distance. Otherwise, just nuke them straight down. 
Okay, now you have your five rings and bands. You're going to want to place them upon the fingers of Naganimat. If you have done all the rings in order within this video and the last ring you obtained was through the Shadow Realm, you may be in luck because to get to Naganimat, you're going to want to be within the Rift and he is also located very close to Torgalun. Depending on how much time you have left in the Rift, you could get there in time to complete this chain of events. Otherwise, if you have done them in a different order, you will again need to find a repaired Rift Key. Straight through a Rift Portal and straight up to the north of the moor again. When you arrive over here, you should see a cave. And following this cave around, you should see a hand over here in the corner. Get a bit closer and you can see that you can interact with the bands around each finger. Upon placing your last ring, you will then be able to interact with the hand to get a quest, which you can immediately turn in to get your golden rock, paper, scissors mount. How can you possibly lose that game now? And that is everything from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you found something within this video at least somewhat helpful, please consider hitting that like button. And likewise, if you feel like you need to share some of your experiences, please do in the comment section below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for your free chauffeured ride. <laughs> but for now, take care.